Yo, Nightbear Photo here, ready to give you your daily vitamin C. Good evening, everyone. As you can tell, today is all about the orange. Boom, check out that bear. Brr, it's a little bit cold, so I'm gonna put on a jumper. I've got this nice orange jumper to match my orange t-shirt. So fresh for the new year that I've had a trim up, looking fresh. But I think I need another layer of orange to match this theme for today. As you can tell, the color is gonna be orange my little mini orange boom 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 so these are the plastic bottles that i'll be showing you today my hoard of orange and then we've got the last one oh, look at that vitamin c that's what we're getting today so we've got orange this bottle i got from norway in the city of salzburg i had to uh, proper cut saw my way through into it and then um, build up a little duct tape hold for it smashing my hat matching the jumper and this is what it looks like so it's kind of got this lava effect um, and you see that in a little bit it's one of my favorites on whoa check that out yeah so I made a little clip system that I'm exploring so I can have more bigger bottles on me so I don't lose them I have them dangling if I'm climbing something but yeah uh, basically, I'm going to introduce you to this guy called R, my Norwegian Viking mate from the city of Salzburg in Norway. So I'm building up a documentary to show his side of the story of the city, um, of him growing as an artist. And a really cool, crazy dude. So I'm looking forward to working on that in the next few years. Already been working on it for about two years now. About me, myself, mine. Oh, yeah. R-I-E-R-R -E. This is a story to my life So yeah, I got this bottle near uh, where I was spraying his can It was literally just along the roadside and I picked it up and started working into it When I got back to the UK Pretty pleased with it pretty incredible find definitely had to give it a good old scrub <laughs> so yeah this is the first picture of the orange bottle looking pretty nice you can sort of see those reds and orange this is me now on strobing and pointing more of the arse end of the bottle towards the lens just so I can get a bit more of a red and orange and lavery effect doing the out trim Boosh, that's awesome. Looking fresh. So what, yeah, one of my mates had a Lucas A bottle and I was able to uh, take it off him after he was finished, clean it out. Um, and he came around again and I managed to get a wrapper from another one, uh, put that inside it, just because the bottom end was clear. So I didn't want it to be a big white light spot. But had some really nice textures, quite bright. So you can hire up the f-stop, could be quite nice in a city. Otherwise. So yeah, this is kind of a nice creamy orange. Kind of interested to see what will happen. I've got kind of a few of these similar plastic bottles with the same shape from the same company. Just giving it a good old spin. Now just doing the outline trim. So yeah, very bright. But it's kind of a creamy orange. I'd almost go borderline yellow. So this is the same branding as the last bottle, same sort of make as well. And it's a clear orange, very bright. It's gonna be popping. Just giving it another spindle. Once I've finished all my videos, I'm gonna make a color chart and combine all of these together. Wow, that's really nice. It's like a nice thin ribbon. This one I got from my boy Phil. He left it um, when he stayed here for the weekend. And I turned it into a light bottle, cutting it up and using the arse end of it and putting it back in so it has a brighter orange. So it's quite a chunky rectangle. Hasn't really got any soft edges. So each one's got I would say a different brush stroke, a different 
texture and it's been really interesting exploring all these different acrylic plastic bottles this is a traffic warning light that would be stuck on a cone I found it on the roadside broken so I gave it a new a new home I've had this one for quite a few years for one of my big mag lights and then I morphed it to fit my big uh, lenser and then I decided to make it fit for the universal so I just made it a bit more tight with the duct tape <laughs> it's really nice very bright And this is the badass Fiat electronic lens out. Booyah! So I was given this by LED Eddie. He picked me up and took me to Waverley Abbey. And I got to learn a great deal from that man. Really cool dude. And he gave me this little acrylic tube. This is the man here. And he allowed me to take a picture of him. I'm starting to collect a whole load of different light painters, photos and souls and portraits. And then this is what I did at Waverley Abbey. He lent me his camera as mine was broken at the time. But yeah, he gave me this um, bit of rod, clear sort of bubbly resin more, I would say. That's like a garden light. I stuck it on top of the torch using glue and then duct tape it. And then by chance, I realized my vitamin C tablet bottle case um, slotted in quite nicely and then this is what it looks like at night as you can see with the grainy bad footage and this is me spinning it which kind of looks really cool I've got to say myself it's kind of got like a white line on the outside and a bit of an orange on the end it's like woo so I didn't use my standard white light, I just thought I'd use the main torch. So not the perfect circle, but definitely awesome textures. So also Dan Whitaker um, met up with me, or well, I met up with him at a party in Farnham, because he doesn't live too far from me. And he gave me this pill bottle that he collected in America, and then I stuck a little orange juice bottle cap inside just to give it a little pop that's pretty bright and then this is a photo of Dan Whitaker funny enough at Waverley Abbey on another night looking pretty epic I'm pretty pleased with it pretty awesome little acrylic orange pill box giving it a good old spin so yeah I'm starting to make a project of meeting different from meeting different light painters to take their picture and at some point in the near future I hope to make a book another project that I'll be working on through the years wow yeah that's got a real nice line I'd almost say that's like yellow and then like just on the outside is the orange so yeah I've got quite a few different projects going on that I'm hoping to share in the future I'm gonna show a bit more what Nightbear Photo is about um, not just me eating a tangerine nom 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 but yeah no I'm really looking forward to exploring the light painting with you guys and hearing your opinions and wherever it could go but at the moment I'm just concentrating on these plastic bottle hoard Brooklyn oh yeah by the way while I was making this uh, video and editing I managed to pick up some more well one more plastic bottle so I thought I'd just add it into the end so I don't forget as you can see I've pimped it up slotted it in with my torch pow bright orange boom so this is Ooh, I'm looking forward to that one. Let's give it a quick spin. <clears throat> so a lot of these I have given it the twice spin just because it adds different layers. So yeah, again that would be a nice orange with just the one, but doubled up it's almost gone into a yellow. And then this is going through all the different images that I have taken. So this is me building up the colour palette alongside the plastic bottles. But yeah, it's, just, it's definitely a journey. Um, the next colour is going to be blood red. So I've got a whole load of different red bottles because red is my favourite colour and I'm trying to 
hunt down the perfect red for me. Yeah, I just wanted to say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to making some more into the near future. Uh, I'll be introducing some more bears from that bear thought or to come and get involved. Uh, I'm going to build a little side video blog with them about exploring the about the colours and we're going to talk a bit more about them. Uh, so yeah, because at the moment I'm just exploring and just getting these videos out. Anyway, just wanted to say thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed.